Hey guys, how are you? Today we're going to do the We're Gonna Need a Bigger Ship achievement, which requires that you fly a Pelican and a Phantom in Halo Reach. And you might wonder, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, there are a couple methods to do this. You certainly want to put it on easy. There's no reason not to. It's not going to impede you in any way. The skulls don't matter, and uh, you should be able to do it pretty simply. Okay, so before we get started with the mission, I'm going to go ahead and explain um, the main objectives. So you're going to have three large buildings. You're going to have the hospital, Club Herrera, and the green building. Um, Club Herrera is actually back there. But you're going to have to clear those three main buildings and take out the jammers at each one. So you're going to get to the part of the mission where it says last one out, uh, or last one out, turn off the lights, something like that and that is when you'll be able to do the achievement. But it is imperative that when you're at the hospital, you grab, you grab a uh, jetpack. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you where that is, and um, I will meet you at that location. Okay, so this hospital here um, was my first objective. It's worth noting that some objectives are randomized, specifically the the couple objectives you get in between each large objective where you're taking out jammers, those are usually randomized, so they'll be different for each player. So I'm not going to go over those because they may not be yours, and they're very easy and very quick. So I'm just going to go over the main things here. So of course we want to come into the hospital, and since it's on easy we can just blast past everybody. Uh, you can use your assault rifle and actually have fun with it because it's actually useful on easy. <laughs> Any other difficulty, it's pretty worthless. Either way, there should be really no chance of you dying. You can just kind of pick off a few people as you go if you feel like they're giving you trouble, but that's why we put it on easy, especially because of the actual method of how you begin the Easter egg which will have you outside and a bunch of banshees could be shooting you, which would not be fun. Okay, so here's the first jammer in the hospital. And this right here is imperative. You need to grab a jetpack. Um, this version of, or, or this method of doing the achievement is actually relatively easy. Uh, I've seen a lot of things saying that it's really hard to do solo. I don't believe it is. Uh, I suppose it could maybe be faster if you use two people, and I used to think that myself, but doing it again recently I realized that wasn't exactly true. So you can definitely do this solo. Um, even doing it with two controllers would be more convoluted than necessary. So hopefully by following this guide you'll be able to um, easily get this easter egg done. Okay, so go ahead and make it out and come back to your Falcon. Like I said, there's going to be a couple random objectives mixed in between, so knock that out. And then you'll do another tower. You'll have another random objective in between that and the final tower. Uh, but the game itself will lead you through those very easily. So I'm going to cut to the chase and get us to uh, the Easter egg at the end, and I will meet you at that point. Okay, so we just cleared our final tower. Um, yours may be different, but I think the main towers pretty much stay in the same order. So, you see here it says last one out, turn out the lights. That is your cue that you are now ready to do the easter egg. So, whatever you do, don't go over to the Oni headquarters building, because that will put you toward the end of the mission, and I, I don't know if the button disappears if you go over there, but I wouldn't chance it. Um, so there's there's a simple way to do this solo. Like I said earlier, I have seen a lot of people uh, saying that it's pretty difficult. Not exactly. Um, so this is Club Herrera, or the orange building. This building that's behind it over here, so if, if this gives you a little frame of reference that um, makes it a little easier, we're kind of behind Club Herrera. Um, and to the left of it if you're facing it from the front. And so there's going to be a button in this divot in the building to the right. 
right here. You can kind of see it right now. It's a green button on the ceiling there, and we have to press that button. A lot of people usually have a second player to put on top of their Falcon and have them jetpack up and press it, which is, is pretty easy. I mean, it's not hard. The, uh, the thing is, a lot of people might not have a second controller, might not, you know, might not have someone to do this achievement with, um, and it's very easy to do solo. So what you want to do is take your Falcon and you want to kind of fly it in this corner, and you just kind of want to hit the spot just right where it will rest there with the wings. And this is why the jetpack is imperative. So you're going to jump out and immediately start jetpacking up. Okay, so you can land up here, jump up, press your button. You'll know if you pressed it because it will make a sound. And you just get right back in your Falcon. And there you go. Pretty simple. So you can take your Falcon now. Uh, this is the point at which you can do different things. So you can take your Falcon and that will get you the Pelican. And if you steal a Banshee, which we'll do in a minute, uh, that will give you a Phantom. So with your Falcon or your Phantom or your, uh, or your Banshee, it's going to be the same method after you press the button. So you're going to come over here and you're going to fly through this arch and then that will basically teleport you into uh, the new vehicle. And there you go. The Pelican is a little hard to drive, not very. Um, I believe you can only go down by looking down at this really sharp angle and then moving forward. The A button will make you rise up or whatever your jump button is. And one of the specialties about the, the Pelican is that you can fly way past the boundary. So you can fly way out there if you want to. I'm not going to do that just because we're just trying to figure out how to do it in this video, but you totally can. You can explore any part of the map that you want. You can go way far out if you feel like it. Um, I've gone out where they were glassing things and it's honestly pretty cool. Another thing is you don't have a gun on this uh, or the Phantom, and I would say this is probably the easier of the two to uh, to fly. If you try to press right bumper to jump out, your phantom will just disappear or your pelican will just disappear. And so it's just fun to do. You can actually complete the mission with this. You can go knock off the shade turrets at the end part. Uh, one warning though, with the phantom, it clips through buildings, which is its little specialty. But I've found that if you clip like the central part through something, it could just automatically kill you, um, which is no good. But anyway, we found out how to fly the Pelican, and obviously it's invincible, and the uh, Phantom is too. So let's go ahead and see how to get the Phantom. Alright, yep, you do that the same exact way as before. Jump up here, press the button, make sure you don't fall into the abyss like my Falcon just did, wah wah, but that should be okay because Banshees can appear and there's one now, so we'll see if we can get this. It's actually rather simple to uh, to get the Banshees, you might have to pepper it a little bit to get its attention, or you could just fly over to it, hold your right bumper, and you have the Banshee. Um, if you have the Falcon and it doesn't fly off into the into the void like mine did that time, um, you can fly it up here and then a bunch of banshees will come up here which will give you a better chance but it's actually rather simple to do given that you have a jetpack so now that you have the banshee we're gonna do the same thing we did with the falcon and you're gonna fly it over here through this arch and that will give you the phantom okay here we are at the arch and we'll just go ahead and boost right through it Bum -ba -na. phantom so it's a little bulkier, a little harder to see um, where you're going, but it is a little easier to fly. Um, all you have to do is look in a certain direction and you'll go that way. The Covenant don't realize that you're a friendly, so they'll keep shooting at you, but it doesn't matter because they can't hurt you. And by this point, you should get the achievement unlocked, and that'll be that. 
you can go fly through some buildings but I'll show you here I'll give it a, a little test run to see whether or not it kills me instantly but it usually does when I try to fly through things so let's look here yeah so it clips through buildings but it will kill you most likely um, at least that's what it does to me so anyway that's how you get the pelican and the phantom hopefully that was a pretty easy guide to follow and uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next one I, I think I'm gonna do the Club Herrera dance Easter egg where there's two different songs you can play um, and it's on the same mission obviously but we'll see what happens so thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later okay you can stand on the nose and jump up here and sometimes your falcon might fall but it should be alright so uh, there's the button there don't call for evac uh, I don't know if it if it even works anymore the other day I was playing this and it, it didn't even work when I tried to call for evac so uh, don't do that either way jump up here you'll know if you pressed it because it will make the little sound you're gonna hold your action button and my falcon disappeared that's cool